Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some concerning news about what's going on in the markets. And I'm going to lay it all out to you and you make the decision. But uh, in all honesty, uh, it's just a Friday. So first up, this happened yesterday. Biden will seek a tax increase on the rich to fund a child care and education. This is the President of the United States, Joe Biden. And uh, why this really has caused mass panic when they're probably shouldn't be. On top of that, I'm going to talk about how this first bill we talked about could just be a distraction for one of the main bills that just came about, which House Democrats passed the bill to make D.C. the 51st state. Still has to get to the Senate, but uh, I got to tell you, this is where it all comes down to sleight of hand and magicians using their sleight of appearance about what is going on. So we'll take a look at those two things, and then we're going to bring in uh, Sheehan Chandrasekhar, who is our everybody's favorite crypto CPA, to calm everybody down about what is going on with this bill. But first, let's take a look at what the heck happened in the market yesterday, huh? Crazy. So we had a market cap of uh, over two, two trillion, and now we lost uh, 150 billion. Eh. What are you going to do? So uh, <clears throat> again, traditional markets, uh, when, once this, this story broke, the traditional market just took a huge dive. And uh, in our market, eh, we lost $150 billion, But, uh, you know, hey, this is crypto. And uh, we are still affected uh, by the tides of uh, different things that are going on outside of our realm of control. So uh, we've got Bitcoin price, 49,000. And one thing I want to talk to you about, trade the chain, sentiment analysis, right? Takes a look at all the different things that are going on in the internet, mostly Twitter and uh, the uh, the websites for uh, exchanges and cryptocurrency and whatnot. There still is, I want to show you a sentiment of what people are really feeling about what's going on. Let me blow this up so you can see it. This was uh, surprising to me. And that is, you see that daily sentiment for Bitcoin? Bearish. I'm not surprised on that. But what I am surprised is the neutrality that's going on in the top four, five uh, currencies. A couple of bearish here, but still very neutral. And people are not really flipping out. And there, even there's some a little bit of bullish here and there, and some bearish whatnot. So who's, who's very bullish? Who is this? Pirate chain. Well, I got to get some of that. That's that's enough. I've been covering. I've been on trade chain for like ten days straight, and it's always pirate chain going. Uh, you know, very positive sentiment. I'm gonna take a. I'm actually gonna have to take a video on this one. But yeah, so I mean, Bitcoin dropped below fifty thousand. We're at forty nine. People were saying if it dropped below fifty, it was going to forty five. But it uh, went to forty eight and picked right back up. Ethereum is still twenty three seventeen. Binance Coin five hundred two. And you can see right here in twenty four hours. Yeah, there was a big dip, but if you were like me, you're just like, thanks. And yesterday, what did I do? Uh, I bought uh, Cardano, I bought StormX, and I bought Voyager. Now, if you watched my video yesterday on Voyager, what's going on, I didn't say anything about how you know awful the tokenomics was. I was just talking about the exchange itself and what was going on. I still believe in the team, still believe in everything. So that's a different story. Watch the video. I'll link it at the very end. But uh, things are going pretty good in, in all honesty. I mean, yeah, we lost a, a pretty good uh, market cap. But um, look, we, me and you, have really taken our brunts. And this is just like, it was affecting some people, but for us, we've been here. Give us the facts and we'll go from there. So let's just jump in and see, and see what everybody was flipping out about over everything. So Joe Biden came out, President Joe Biden came out and said, look, I'm going to tax the living heck out of uh, people who make more than a million bucks for their capital gains, which is really bad, right? For, uh, for people who make a million dollars. And uh, that's awful. And this is what he said. He goes, look, uh, I'm going to, this isn't a direct quote. He said, but this is a, from the uh, paraphrase. I'm going to raise taxes on capital gains, the proceeds of selling an asset like a stock or a boat or a cryptocurrency for people earning more than a million. This is very vague. I will just say this, and Sheehan's going to talk about it in a second. Uh, effectively increasing the rate that pay on that income to 39.6% from 20%. So basically doubling, and this is long-term uh, capital gains, apparently right? It's it's very jumbled and very muted. But uh, again, I'll remind you, and we'll talk about this again, Janet Yellen uh, came out not too long ago, two or three months ago, and said, hey, we're going to tax you on your unrealized uh, capital gains. And people are like, what? And she just said that in passing. And then she kind of re retracted later. But that even caused a big dip. So again, when people say news doesn't move the markets, you're wrong. News does move the market. And that's just the truth. So this is what's going on. We don't really have much information. This is just some that's, you know, it's like, hey, I'm thinking about doing it. 
if you're outside of the United States, first of all, you know, it has to get through the House of Representatives, which this bill did right here. But then after that, it has to be uh, talked about and actually agreed upon by Senate. And uh, right now, all the senators, it's a direct 50-50 split in the United States. We've got like, you know, 50 Democrats and 50 Republicans. And if they all vote on the party lines, then the person that would actually break that vote would be the vice president, who is also Democrat. So if this actually goes through, oh, okay, uh, then off we go. I, I, I can't tell you if it is or it isn't. The real question is, is when does it go into effect? And I'll let Sheehan talk to you about that. So, House Democrats, this is, but this is what, what I was really thinking about. He just came out and said it. There's really no bill coming forth. There's, there's nothing on paper, but this has already gone through. House Democrats passed the bill to make DC the 51st state in, in the US. And if you're outside the US, it doesn't apply to you. It doesn't really matter. This does uh, because we just saw what happened with the price of cryptocurrency. This affects everybody. Uh, but if you're like me, you're just like, great, thanks for the uh, discount. So, uh, da -da -da -da. I'm not going to, this is all political stuff. I'm not going to read it. This, let me just talk to you real quick. So here's the thing. The reason why this went through, debatable, right? But it does look like it's a little bit of a, of a power type of grab. And people can debate this all the time. I don't really care. But Democrats really want this. And that's fine. You know, that whatever it is. But to me, it kind of feels like Joe Biden's like, all right, so we're going to do this thing with capital gains and money and all the things that are happening and watch over here. And what's this? And what's this behind your, oh, uh, 51st state. To me, it's just like, like magician sleight of hand. So in all honesty, they, they got this through the House of Representatives. Now they have to get it through Senate, but this is a little bit different. They have to have, uh, I think it's like 60 uh, votes or whatever else. So we'll see if this actually goes through. I think, in quite all honesty, is that if you're all about negotiation and you know how this works in, in, in Congress, and going forth, uh, you don't start with your real number. You start super high, then you start to work things around, then you go that way. Because uh, just because you know they say, well, there's you know these there's, there's Democrats in there, they're going to jam it right through. Not so. Uh, it's all about political power and what you can actually get later on for what you really want, whatever that is. So if you want to spend all your capital on this one, go right ahead. But uh, on different things where you have to have some kind of supermajority, it's not going to go through. These are just my my musings. Um, I think that there will be a tax raise. There has to be because that's what's that's the whole thing with this helicopter money that we got. Someone's going to pay for it, and it's going to be you and me, and that's just how it is. So, what I really want to do is just kind of break this down and just tell you like this: When in doubt, zoom out. There's been a lot of different things that have happened in this market, a lot of different things that have uh, made people panic and whatnot. But you just have to sit back and go, what's really going on? Who does this really affect? And how can I use this to my